one last ride before I go back home to the Philippines. It's just an hour or so before sunset, so I'm gonna make it count. <laughs> oh. excited to get home though. I mean honestly I just miss my little routine and you know I like I like my routine man and vacation is nice and all but I want to get back home. I am gonna miss a few things about cycling here. This for one is like a public area. We don't have public places like this. Usually if we're like going, doing some off-road stuff, we're kind of like sneaking in private property. And check out the view. In recognition to the agencies who cooperatively work together to protect our treasured hills, with dedication to Santa Clara County firefighters in the memory of firefighter paramedic James McCluskey, May they continue to enjoy this open space and ride together in spirit. I'm also going to miss that there are actual trails here that are made for actually hiking or biking on the trails. Like, this is the purpose of this road. It's for people to hike or bike or whatever. We don't really have that where I'm from in the Philippines. We just have like these roads that are bulldozed so other bulldozers can pass. Philippine government. It would be good if you guys... Another thing I'll miss is relatively easy access to really good roads where there are very few cars. I think it's because like a lot of the cars are either in the cities or in the freeways and a lot of the residential areas here are... I mean, they're basically all public. Not like in the Philippines where there's a lot of private residential areas where there's a security guard and a gate. Here I'm in a I'm in a residential area right now and there's no gate. There's nobody there's no security guards. Just friendly open roads. Friendly for the most part. Just a quick thought about drivers here in America, well at least California, compared to the Philippines. While it is, while it is a lot more civilized to drive here, even though it goes against every instinct of my Filipino driving, like I find it very stressful because it's so different to the Philippines. The truth is, it makes a lot more sense, but I do think that the drivers here tend to be a lot more distracted than the drivers in the Philippines. And considering the speeds, it's a kind of scary. I've seen drivers go on the freeway at 70 miles per hour while checking Instagram. That does not give me much confidence on the road, especially when I'm on this tiny little bicycle. On the other hand, in the Philippines, the speeds are much slower 
and the drivers are so used to the chaos of the road you know there's pedestrians there's motorcycles there's dogs even chickens crossing the road on a regular basis in the Philippines. Hence, I think, this is all speculation by the way, but I think it seems to me that the drivers in the Philippines just know how to handle that little bit of chaos and uncertainty a little bit more. Hence, I'm just a little bit more confident cycling in the Philippines than here. Main roads are scary. Another thing I'll miss here are the parks. I mean, they're not just made for cyclists. They're made for people to hang out in. I already saw a whole bunch of families, kids playing in the playground, people dog walking, people fishing. These are still cities built on, built around cars, but there are pockets of beauty around here, you know? Like pockets of nature and Damn, I am so envious when I see places like this because they simply are not in the Philippines, at least not where I am from. Like, can you believe it? That's so close to the city. It's so close. It's so close. Okay, wrong turn. This is really sharp plants. He's doing an RC boat again. I feel like in the Philippines, if you had spaces like this, people would use them too. Uh, there are a number of, you know, semi-private properties that are open to the public and a lot of people just <laughs> go in there and use it. They go biking, walking, camping. Uh, they're just not, I don't know, is the word sanctioned the correct word? They're just not maintained by the government. So the longevity of those spaces, especially since they are private, are uh, questionable. Also, I think some of the people behind the planning I've designed it to be fun. Like this single track that has no reason to be here. I mean, the road's right there. We're going down. Whoa. I'm also going to miss how the drivers here, if they notice you, how the drivers here treat cyclists like pedestrians almost. And what I mean is that, you know, cyclists tend to be treated like people. I feel like in my very limited experience here, as opposed to just treated like they are in the way. I'm going to miss that. People very regularly let me pass first, let me go ahead in the intersections, and uh, it was nice. I, it, it, I felt special. Personally, I feel like those are things that the Philippines could get better on. What do you think the Philippines could get better on in terms of their cycling in general? 